What would you do if you're living your life and it was interrupted by these words? Incurable disease. Stage four. Three-year life expectancy. Cancer. This is the story of two women living with and advocating for metastatic breast cancer, striving to be heard. Don't ignore stage four. Super excited to raise some real awareness, raise some money, and also have a little bit of fun. Raising money for research. I met Kelly Davis, who I discovered lived only a few miles away from me. My husband and I decided to meet her, and together we started the Northwest Arkansas Metzgerade. Living their best lives. while dying on the inside. Seriously, I can't, I can never trust my body again. The medicine that I've been on so far, I've been able to live my life pretty, fairly, normally, I guess. You could probably ask Kim more than me. It's affected me, but it could get a lot worse with IV chemo. Fewer than 6% of all research dollars are earmarked for metastatic breast cancer, yet it is the only breast cancer that kills. 116 people die. People die. People die. People die. People die. People die. Each day. Every day. Every day. Every day. For metastatic breast cancer. 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 In the United States alone. In the U.S. alone. In the U.S. alone. In the U.S. alone. So, what would you do with the time you had left? This is the story of two of those people using their time to advocate for more research, for more options, for more representation. And they deserve so much more.